Hey again guys and welcome back. Today I want to talk about uh, these little guys. These are what's known as a Piranha LED and I bought these because I think their claim to fame is they're a little bit brighter than the standard 5mm LED without taking up all that much more space. I mean you can tell it is you know wider and longer but it is shorter so there's that. Uh, this one is a white one specifically and if you see there's a little cutout notch on top there so the two legs on this side are cathode so negative and the two legs on this side are positive uh, apparently this has a forward voltage of about 3.1 volts but I mean I guess we can test that in this component tester here so I'll put the negative lead towards uh, the right side of your screen here cinch it down and see what the forward voltage is it is lighting okay I don't think I've ever gotten this thing to not know what a part is weird it says no no part it, I mean is it borked here's the 5 mil LED I had before no okay so this one has a forward voltage of about 3 volts as well. Okay, uh, so how do you use this? Well, it looks to have roughly the same footprint as a tactile switch. Um, and it's got little standoffs on the legs. Not sure if you can see there. Yeah, you can barely just see there. So it'll sit up from the board a little bit. And I think the lens is a bit wider. If you look at how... Uh, round the top of this LED is here. If you look how round the top is, this one seems a lot shallower of a dome. Um, but they're supposed to be brighter. So, yeah. I guess we're going to have to put it into a breadboard and uh, see which one is brighter. I guess I might as well show you how to calculate the resistor value for a given LED. So LEDs are a little bit bizarre, they don't work like resistors. They need a limited current, not a limited voltage. They need a voltage above their forward voltage and a current limit, um, you know, so they don't go over their maximum current. So this one here is gonna be 20 milliamps we're gonna try to run it at, so, so 20 milliamps. But another way to write that is 0 0.02, yeah, 0 0.02 amps. Same deal, yeah, this would be 200 milliamps, this is 20 milliamps. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to be running this at a voltage of 5 volts from a little, uh, you know, breadboard power supply thing. And how you um, how you calculate this is you're going to take your your initial voltage, so 5 volts, then you're going to minus the forward voltage of your LED. Um, I looked online and the forward voltage is 3.1 volts. And so 5 volts minus 3.1 gives us 1.9 volts. And then you take this 1.9 volts and because of Ohm's law, which I have not done a video on yet, so it's E, I, and R, where E is our voltage, so 1.9. So you do 1.9 volts and then divided by, there's our I, which is our current, divided by 0.02 amps equals our resistor value and our resistor value I'm just going to do it on the calculator here uh, R equals 95 ohms so if I use a 95 ohm resistor I'm going to get uh, 20 milliamps out of this um, 1.9 volt forward voltage LED this is how you calculate LED resistor values and since you know 95 I could use you know a, a potentiometer and adjust it down from 100 down to 95 I won't bother I'm just going to use the closest value I have easily available which is a hundred ohms and while I'm at it these LEDs have a very similar forward voltage right we tested this one exactly at 3 so I mean 3 and 3.1 kind of the same thing so um, I'm going to use a hundred ohm resistor to test both my LEDs Alright, so there's my Piranha and there's just my standard um, 5mm 
white LED. These are super bright 5 mil whites, so I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but these are supposed to be, the Pranos are supposed to be brighter. So, got my 100 ohm resistors, so power to the LED, then the, the 100 ohm resistor to ground. Um, this, this resistor can go either up here or down here, it doesn't matter, it's in series. I'm going to plug this in. And so immediately, to my eye, they actually look about the same brightness. Uh-oh. So um, let's just make sure that we have actually only 20 milliamps on both because they might have a small variation in their uh, forward voltages which might give one the advantage over the other. The higher the current of an LED typically is the brighter it's going to be. So I'm going to put my multimeter into milliamp mode here. See milliamps. This is the fantastic Kaiweets multimeter, which I've proven time and time again that it is awesome at low current. Put my rig to milliamps here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this resistor, just going to put it to the side. Oops. Okay, so now it's not connected to the LED anymore. Same thing with this resistor over here. So they are now not connected. They're they are they are two open circuits. Circuits are doing nothing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my red probe and I'm going to poke it on the leg of the LED and my black probe on the resistor and that will con that will complete the circuit and you know going through my multimeter that'll give us the current. So the current for this white LED, the 5 mil is 17.72 milliamps. And for the Piranha, try to do this and keep it in shot. That one is 20. So in fact, we are actually pulling less current with the super bright, you know, 5 mil LED. And to my eye, they're the same brightness. So I'm not sure if those claims are valid, but then again, this one has a less diffused pattern. Hmm. What can I do to demonstrate this? Just to show you, I cut the legs off the 5 mil LED now, and still the 5 mil is taller than the Piranha. So if you have a low profile application, the Piranha is the one for you. Got the main recording lights off right now, just so you can see. Um, obviously, the lenses are different. So there's the Piranha. And you can just barely see, see if I make a shadow here, it's kind of spreading light over here. It's also a little bit warmer white, might be a neutral white where these are cold white. And then the 5 mil LED is showing up here. But in terms of brightness, you know, I would say, I don't know. It looks like the uh, 5 mil LED is maybe brighter because of its focus. But this one here, the Piranha, might be actually putting out more light. Hmm. And now with no lights at all, just to show the difference. Yeah, I think the Piranha might be putting out more light. And ugh, I don't know. It's not really fair, though, because the 5 mil ultra bright LED is actually, uh, you know, something like this much percent less current. It's a tough call. And so before I use a new type of LED, I typically mess around with it like that. And um, I figured I would bring you along for the ride this time. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this kind of experimentation video. And now that we know the, all the facts about these Piranha LEDs, I think I will be integrating them into my regular workflow. What's your use for it? Let me know. Thanks for watching.